Well, the sequel that no one was asking for, the first Pitch Perfect, as you remember, I loved, and I was doing Ack Excuse Me for weeks you afterwards. Were. And I, I really, really enjoyed it. I seem to remember that I went to see it. I think James King had come with me. I think we were in the same screening. And he and I just laughed all the way through. Second film was less funny. I mean, substantially less funny, but still funnier than a lot of teen orientated American comedies and it because it ended on a high note you came out thinking that it was a better film than it actually was well now comes the third installment which doesn't have any chance of covering over just how empty and bereft it is and and actually pretty systematically tramples over all the things that you loved about the first film and liked about the second film story is the Bellas have gone their separate ways. They've kind of grown up ways, but they still harbour dreams of getting back together again at reunions. And then the an, an opportunity presents itself in the form of a plot device which can best be described as lumberingly laborious. You are the most amazing group of women I have ever known. Yeah. I would do anything to sing with you guys again. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. I'm having a crazy idea. Okay, I've mentioned that my dad is in the army and, like, basically killed Osama bin Laden, right? Some new information in that sentence, but okay. Well, what I mean is, he's kind of a big deal in the army, and every year the USO puts on this performance to entertain and support the troops, and this year, DJ Khaled is hosting. He's got, like, a gazillion hit songs, and he's super famous. I saw him on a tax commercial. <gasps> what if I could get us an invite? To sing? No, to run military dark ops. Yes, of course to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I went into Pitch Perfect 3 hoping for the best but also expecting that you know that things may not be may not be great because there is a kind of law of diminishing returns often with with sequels and I was I have to say crushingly disappointed there are, there are a number of sort of things that signal what's wrong with it I mean firstly it's a swathe of location travel footage to exotic places all of which look the same, which is the the total the, the hallmark of we've run out of ideas. What do we what do we do? Well, we go on tour. Second is the introduction of utterly extraneous characters to drive the plot. Um, you know, estranged fathers uh, doing bad uh, Antipodean accents and and just crowbarred in in ways that don't make any sense at all. Thirdly, massively overdone musical numbers, which effectively forget that what made the first film so charming was the, essentially the a cappella thing. All the a excuse me, a ca all that stuff, because it had a charming central premise, which is that a cappella is really funky and cool and is something that's worth getting het up about. Fourthly, the action set pieces. Yes, that's right, action set pieces. We start off at the beginning with an action set piece and the, the action set pieces make you long for the lousy songs to come back. Fifth, a plot which effectively, without plot spoilers, ends up undoing the altogether ethos of the original. Um, and, you know, it just appears to have been written with the sole intention of taking apart what you liked about the first one. And then, finally, the fact that I didn't laugh. And I, I really wanted to laugh because I really like Pitch Perfect. And I really like many of these players and I really like the idea. And I just remember the joy of watching the first one and just thinking I had, you know, I, I had no expectation of this being such a delight. And it was so funny. And you remember, I was so annoying for weeks afterwards. I can't, using I can't the, think that that would have ever been the case. But I think I persuaded you to see it because I think you did see it, didn't you? No, I never saw it. I might have I pretended didn't persuade. that. I did. Oh, OK. I, I thought that you had seen it. Everyone I know who I said, you have to go and see this. It's so funny. It's so charming. It's so sassy and sharp. And on the, everyone, and I mean Everyone, everyone, without any exceptions, thought it was really, really great. And I sat in a screening room full of critics to see this. And there were, at very best, a couple of chuckles, a couple of, you know, uh, titters, maybe, um, you know, a little bit of... But that was it. And that's n and none of it coming from me, incidentally. And when you have that much talent and that much audience investment... It was a crushing disappointment.